that route wraps the show up, and now we're getting into uh, that thing that we've been teasing this entire yeah. time for show. some serious shit. <sighs> it, Life is happening, everyone. It's hard to bring this up, uh, but it has to be done. Yeah. As you're saying, life is happening. I think it's best to lead with what's going on in your life at the moment. I won't say a whole lot of things. Uh, there are certain things that you know I'll be dealing with on my own time. Uh, but one thing that is for certain is that right now I have no internet. And what that means is I'm going to be having to, uh, much like Tony before me, but not in such a indefinite time frame, uh, step away from the mic as far as Show Me Your News is concerned. Mm. Uh, I will be attempting when I can, you know, make myself available as a guest or, you know, as, you know, refilling my spot, you know, in the intro and such like that. But uh, for the foreseeable future, it's a very spotty internet connection. And I'm going to be doing everything I can on the sides to do, you know, do what I can. And you're here, and that's why we're yeah. recording this. Uh, you, we're in the in the neighborhood. So, in the neighborhood. Uh, staying the night and all that, and so we got you recording a couple soap boxes and the yep. like. Yeah, it's it's a, not a, it's people may be wondering like how do like, I how, Skype how do you stuff? Like, how do you not have internet? How do you get onto Skype? I mean, well. Um, let me put it this way: the internet that I have at my house comes from a house across the street, and it's one of it's some of those side streets that are still a main street, so it's a really wide street. Mm -hmm. So, and we have an, a, a, an extension, but you know we're extending a signal that comes from a house across the street, and it's about you know five to ten percent signal strength. Yep. So it pops out so quick, so it, it pops out basically. It just keeps fading out. I keep losing connection. You know, Skype will work for maybe an hour, but, you know, it might not work for two hours. I don't know. And even if it, when I say it works, I mean, I'm just talking chat. Yeah, and we're, we were having shows at the end of yeah. last year. Where I was where having that internet connection. You were dealing with that internet connection, and you were getting, like, seven-second delays in yeah. conversation. And it just doesn't work. Not yeah. for a podcast, and not for anything we're trying to do now. Uh, not for something that's you know, reliable as every other week, which leads to the point... The ultimate point here, I think, in this is don't get the idea that we are ending Show Me Your News. That's not the case. Nope. Uh, it's, it means too much to me, and it, it's my baby in a way. <laughs> but this is going to be an interesting year for the show. We kind of have to scale things back in a way because of this. We have some to start. Some things are being scaled back, some... other things are being brought forward. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm talking about as as far as, like, show me news is concerned. We're learning new skills. We're kind of putting a little more emphasis now, I think, on the YouTube content, starting to yep. build that a little bit with the soapboxes, with other content that we can come up for YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, we still plan on doing podcasts because we can't, you know, give away things like the things we do for E3 yeah. and for the anniversary and Game of the Year. None of that stuff is going away. Nope. You can still expect to have Show Me Your News, Game of the Year, Show Me Your News, you know, anniversaries. Yeah. So the plan is to have monthly podcasts Yep. instead of every two weeks being supplemented by YouTube content yep. like soapboxes and other things. Uh, yeah. That's probably the best way we can handle this. And your internet situation changes. It's just at the end of the year. Yep. Uh, in November, I will be able to have my own internet at my house. And there are other changes potentially in the works where it looks like 2016 will could be, be a, a very, very big, big year, year as far as our productivity and you know doing more things content. is concerned and just content. Uh, it's just, this is going to be a, a, a very different year in that regard, a kind of dialed back yep. on just, you know, especially the, the podcast, uh, front, you know, we still have to figure out what to do with other shows, uh, that's still in discussion mm -hmm. because while things are busy in your life, things are also busy yeah. in, in my life, yep. but also yep. in Rachel's life. Well, I probably mentioned a few times before that I'm looking to move to America and me and Pete are going through a process at the moment with uh, a lawyer, a firm, 
uh, near where he lives to get me into America permanently where um, I can live with Peter yeah. and we can be the best sickly couple <laughs> of show me your news <laughs> since the bus store and sugar poultry. <laughs> yeah. Or Ben yeah. and Joe. Or- <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Ben and Joe. I'm not. <laughs> um, there's a lot still to go through. Uh, it's probably not going to be until probably later in the year. Yeah, it's Where I'm going to be there. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna take a while to do, but it's a really exciting process. And my family are going crazy about it and hmm. looking forward to meeting him when he comes over yep. and talking about it. And, yeah, there's there's more news on that to come, but the yeah. general gist is there's a lot to go through with the, the immigration process. I mean, yeah, some of you may know we've been dating for a while, and mm-hmm. uh, it's going well enough to go through this process and, you know, looking forward to future things. Uh, but it is a very busy process, to yeah. be sure. Uh, so that's that's a big thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want proof you. of everything. <clears throat> yeah, to, to have you come over here and what that means for the both of us and that's that's a, a big deal and also another part of it is i have to finally finish my master's thesis yeah. and get that degree and it's a matter of like not that something has to be sacrificed but a change has to be made and i, I can't go you know full on with multiple shows and doing this so things have to be scaled back a little bit at least on my end uh, mm-hmm. to be able to to cope with, because with that and work and then uh, now all these processes yeah it's uh, it's a lot it's a lot so yeah. and you're also coming over here soon so yeah, you I, I, am, yeah. I will be coming over to, to England in March uh, now Joe and Ben over at Read the Manual and all the different shows that they do I can't speak for them uh, no. they do a remarkable job you know putting out all the content that they do yes yeah, it's there's still a lot of things that need to be decided. Yes, to be honest, like I I still want to do question me roundtable every week, but we tried to do this last week with uh, Rachel, me, Joe, and Ben, and we were having some internet connection errors and you know choppiness, Ironic. and it's just like we have to push it back because of technical difficulties. Like really, yeah. Like what is what are the internet karma podcasting gods? What do they want with us? Um, Gosh, and we we really haven't delivered on on Patreon things, and I really apologize. I think it just seemed like we we may have bitten off a little more that we can chew, and I really, really fucking hate to admit that. Mm. But with all the life shit that has just piled on, like, we may have to take a better reassessment of what it is that we're all able to do. Yeah. I mean, I have to also, like, take a step back and think about what I want to do with the YouTube side of things and because I stream on Twitch as well but recently it's been lucky if I ever get out of work on time like I'm there sometimes until around about 7pm not getting home till 8pm or afterwards and I don't really get a lot of time to myself so I think at some point I've even got to step back and think okay what am I going to do am I going to do YouTube stuff or am I going to do Twitch stuff Hmm. Yeah. so again it's all it's all life, and I, I hate to kind of bring it down, you know, this episode and this note with all the gaming news and now the, like this real life stuff. But mm-hmm. uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, to to summarize, Miles does not have reliable internet until November or a reliable computer, to be honest. <laughs> or, or that too. I mean, we have, we make jokes about the yeah. the supercomputer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that really puts a damper on podcast things. Mm-hmm. So. With that combined with uh, you know Rachel and I making big plans for our future that involve her coming to America and starting mm-hmm. that process, in addition to uh, my you know, master's work for school, uh, it means that kind of we need to tame our expectations and what we're able to do. Uh, so that means that you know show me your news episodes, uh, podcast episodes, yeah. audio podcast episodes because. It's a changing landscape in media today. Yeah. Audio podcasts, I think a very good idea that I'm very proud of to kind of get going in 2007. Yeah. Today, like, YouTube is the way. Mm-hmm. It's YouTube all, is it's, the way. It's all about video. And while it is nice to have audio podcasts, you uh, need to diversify, yeah. I think. So, podcasts monthly, 
as a as a big I, recap of yep. news. A supplement to everything else. That Supplementing we're with the soapboxes that we are now doing at YouTube.com slash Show Me Your News and other content that we may make on that YouTube channel. So do give our YouTube channel a subscription if you have not already. We're on Twitter at Show Me Your News. Uh, we still have to decide what this means for other uh, network shows that we're involved with, with plans for the network and you know scope ideas that we have for it. It's seeming like, and just to put a, a big old bow on it, it's seeming like 2016 has yeah. a lot of potential for all of these things that we want to do for yeah. that scope that we were m- more aiming for. Internet, plans, movement. All, all sorts of things. Yeah. But 2015 is a very bizarre, strange year for at least our part yeah. of the Show Me Your News yeah. Network. And it's really putting a, a restriction yeah. on what uh, on we're our able ability to do. To con- do content like we did in 2014. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like because of all those extra things that we've got to take on, it just feels like there's some added kind of like not not quite like a strain because then it feels like we're not enjoying what we do. We do enjoy what we do. It's Absolutely. just a case that we feel like we're letting you guys down because we can't deliver it as much as we normally would. So, yeah. so we're really trying to be upfront and honest with you about you know, what's going on with all of us and we really hope that you understand that and you guys have always stuck with us and we don't have any doubt with that and you know you guys are our family to us yeah. and that really means the world uh, but yeah the, the times are, are tough yeah there's no going to be there's not going to be any gray area with the content that's still going to come out. For sure. A lot of shows are going to continue as they were and mm-hmm. we've got other shows on the horizon, you know, that might be coming out, coming to light. Yeah. Or uh or something like that. So, you know, just keep an eye out. 2015 is going to be a transitional year for a lot of us. Yeah. A transition is a, is a good way to put it. Mm. It takes a lot of work, but it's it's ultimately going to be worth it and we just hope that you guys all can Stick with us and understand as we go through this time in our lives. 